Hey everybody, and a welcome to the next game that I'm going to play. For the people who wonder where Star Wars Conquest is, don't worry, that will return shortly and will actually run parallel to this series. This is a, another uh, cool modding project for a game called X3 Albion Prelude, and uh, it is a space exploration combat trading game. I've actually never had experience with these type of games, but after seeing the new Star Wars movie, I wanted to play a space game, so I looked a little bit on the internet, looked what was recommended, and I saw there was a really cool mod for this, uh, and this is a game that lets you pretty much do anything. You can start out as a smuggler, or an assassin, uh, a pirate, and you can work your way all the way up to where uh, you have a whole fleet under your command, and engage in fleet combat, or own several space stations, and become the most... Um, important trade empire or smuggling empire or whatever criminal empire in the galaxy so that's kind of what we're going to do with Kanoa's new order of course in Star Wars Conquest there you have the infantry battles and the strategy map and here you will actually have the real-time space battles so it is a very difficult game and I've seen several um, tutorials on, on YouTube so I know a little bit of what I'm doing in the beginning but if you have tips on what I should buy or not please let me know so uh, here we can choose what we uh, shall be. You can actually here be uh, an assassin and you will actually begin in uh, Slave 1 as your ship. And you can also, for example, do Hardcore where uh, whenever you die you have to start all the way over. Uh, this is the most standard one where you have more of a story to go through, but um, you get to fly in an E-Wing, and an E-Wing isn't the most uh, efficient fighter, I would say. You have to upgrade that quite a bit before it actually is useful. So, what we're going to do is we're going for the Humble Merchant. The Humble Merchant lets you char uh, starts with two ships, and one of them is actually, and you will see, the same model as the Millennium Falcon. We will skip this. Now, this game uh, takes place in a universe where there are other factions next to, for example, the, the, the Rebels and the Empire. And in fact, uh, they are not called Rebels and Empire here. So we have several ships that are not from the Star Wars universe as well, uh, but I do think that they fit uh, well there. And uh, the creator of this mod is actually very good with updating. Every two to three months, he updates uh, the mod. And in the next mod installment, what is planned is uh, several new ships, uh, asteroid fields with debris of uh, or debris of destroyed star destroyers, um, the atmosphere of Jakku. So we're actually going getting some Force Awakens uh, in here, and also the atmosphere of Hoth will be added. Uh, which means that you can fly uh, near the near the planet's surface, and um, also, but that's actually already in here. Is there are several clone ships available as well? So that's actually very cool. So Argon Flight School. So here you can see. Um, let me eject really quick. So now I am outside of the ship. I'm this little man right here. And as you can see is we have, and let me check real quick what it's called. It is a Corellian YT-1300 freighter hauler. So that is our um, trading ship or smuggling if you want to be like Han Solo. Now as you can see is that the layout of the ship is actually a little bit different than a Millennium Falcon. So I guess the Millennium Falcon is a little bit modified. Um, one tiny uh, neat detail that, that uh, needs to be said is that you can actually capture the Millennium Falcon in this game. The mod creator added that in here and it is very difficult to obtain apparently. But if you want, you can get the Millennium Falcon. Here you can see our other ship that we can uh, that, that is ours, which is an A-Wing. And we will use the A-Wing to fly because it is a lot faster than our freighter. A little difficult to control this and I don't want to damage myself by hitting it too hard. Now we will start with some smuggling, uh, or not smuggling, but some regular trading missions. Get in there. 
So, now we are in the uh, A-Wing. And I can give the freighter the command to follow me. Command accepted. And now it will follow me. So, uh, let's go explore. And there are a lot of ships available here. Uh, like I said, from clone ships to huge star destroyers to... Ooh, over there we have a medical frigate, I think. And um, things like B-Wings, E-Wings are added. Um, but also, one thing that's really cool is that they added the um, ship from, I think his name is Dash Rendar, which is the guy who is the main character in uh, Shadows of the Empire, which is an N N Nintendo 64 game. So if you are uh, powerful enough, you can actually have that. Now what I see for the very first time, if I'm not mistaken, is that is the ship that is used in Episode 1. Am I wrong into thinking that? Oh, actually, I might be wrong. Maybe this is just a regular ship that comes with the regular factions. See, one thing that's kind of cool is that when you think about it, the creator has a lot of freedom to choose uh, the ships he wants to add because you can even go to a nicely old republic and add it there. So the freighter, as you can see, is moving that green dot over there, um, but it will take a while. So what we are going to do is we are going to a different system. Um, let me check the map real quick. Uh, no aim. Again, this is a very difficult... I've never had experience with these games before, and I've seen a few um, tutorial videos, so I know the, the first few things. What I would like people to tell me who have experience with this is what to buy in order to do certain missions. For example, there are scanning missions where you have to scan minerals on asteroids, but you can only do that if you actually have like a scanner on your ship, and I know that I don't have that right now. So... Uh, Sometimes the game is a little bit difficult with or, or unclear with explaining what certain items or certain upgrades on your ship do. For example, even though this is an A-Wing, I do not have weapons on the ship right now. I can show you this when we look. go to my A-Wing and information. At the laser bay and missiles, you see none. Uh, even though we are actually able to have lasers. We can have an impulse ray... Uh, emitter, we can have a particle, accelerator cannon, uh, or the last one. And several missiles can actually be used as well. Asteroid. Oops. Now we are going through the south gate, which will get us through light speed. I should actually turn subtitles on. That's actually audio, I think. Um, there we go. It actually resets per new game. No gate. Argon Prime. So this will get us to Argon Prime, which is one of the factions, the Argon Federation. Uh, I guess you can kind of see them as the rebels. They have a lot of X-wings. skill. And so you can have whole fleets, like I said. You can buy uh, fighters, frigates, freighters, you name it and even build whole space stations so you can actually influence the the, uh, the outlay of everything. Alright. Now the first two hours or something apparently can be a little bit dull, but I will make sure and hopefully with tips from you guys I'll, I'll try to make things good. One of the tips that some people have is actually to um, sell your trading freighter so that you get a lot of money and then upgrade your little fighter but I'm not going to do that because you know I want to be a merchant sort of here and eventually of course become the biggest and, and engage in fleet combat but uh, we need to go east here if I'm not mistaken. So what we're going to do is we're going to a uh, neighboring system and we're going to buy energy cells which is basically what they use to power everything and we are going to search for a 
um, solar factory that obviously has a lot of energy cells to sell because that means that they will sell it for less you know that's how the ec economy works in this in this thing when their stock is high prices are low so that's where you want to buy now there will be other rival merchants played by NPCs who if I don't you know uh, trade quick enough they might actually dock before I do and you know steal the, the energy cells um, for me now again the freighter will come after me but it will take a while uh, since I cannot carry a whole lot I need a freighter to dock but first I need to figure out at what um, factory entering system the wall the wall so this is the this is where we will do our first trade um, as you can see very beautiful and those Argon taxi service Argon taxi service solar power plant L alpha so there we have a uh, solar thing and we're actually going to check on the map um, solar power plants produce energy they as you can see, they did not actually have... Hold on, let me stop real quick. Now, there is another area here. Oh, let me see. So. Solar power plants produce energy. They are found everywhere in the known universe and are operated and controlled by all races. So, uh, as you can see, energy cells, and then if you look at stock... Uh, doesn't have a whole lot so that means that if I would dock there and buy it um, I, I I would buy it at a high price and probably would not be able to sell it for very good um, prices you kind of want to go go for are 14 15 that's actually already kind of getting it 14 to 13 credits if we look at the status of my pilot me we can see uh, up there that my account is 9,742 credits. Now it's not a whole lot, but it is enough to uh, buy a really, really weak ship in order to join us. But that ship probably would not have any uh, combat abilities. Now again, both the freighter and me currently have no combat abilities. So if we run into pirates, we are screwed. Now that will all come into time, but we need to scan this area a little bit more to find out if there's maybe an interesting area like that one. Solar power plant M beta. So there we have the power plant M, and let's see. Solar power plants produce energy. Yeah, I know. So as you can see, the stock there is actually higher, and I believe that there are no other power plants in this area. But, uh, it looks like I am going to buy energy cells from M. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order my freighter to dock. Uh, dock at. And then we're going to choose the wall, which is where we are right now. And I'm going to order it to dock at Docking M. Granted. Command so accepted. So it is going to uh, go there. Now, as you can see, though, it is still not there. So we can actually dock there first. Uh, we need to establish contact. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Positive. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. Now we actually need to dock there. Uh, and we need to do that by flying under 40. Which I'm coming in too hot right now, but let's do this. The lights actually give uh, the, the correct way to dock, but that's fine. I actually bought the game X Rebirth as well, which actually has a um, single-player campaign where you can walk around ships and stuff as well. Successfully docked. But On behalf of our 
President and Senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. So this is the Argon Federation. So if I would do missions for this uh, or trade, my reputation with this faction obviously would increase. And I would get more missions. military personnel, please report to Med Bay 6 for bioweapons clean. Energy cells are the unified energy storage used throughout the whole known universe. The unification of the energy storage specifications allows for interstellar trading with this most basic of all products. So yeah, basically we are going to be traders right now in the most basic of stuff. The reason why is because I've seen this in the tutorial video. Obviously if somebody has a better tip in what to trade or something, please let me know. Again, this is a very complex and deep game with a very steep learning curve. And I, this, I've never played one of these games before, so uh, you know I need all the help I can get. Um, so... Uh, yeah, we are we we are going to have to wait until the freighter is docked because I obviously cannot carry as much. Uh, if you look at TC, uh, which is next to the volume, it is uh, it says S, which means small. Um, now, for example, my A wing can only carry small cargo. Now the landed ships are only me. Let's actually undock. Let's see where where's the frigate? Or for the freighter, I should say. There it is. There it comes. Gate Argon Prime. Gate Argon Prime. No, I want. Come on. There you go. You can switch between to um. Hauler. To your target. Uh. Thing. So now then the camera. Now I tested this out. If you buy a new ship, you actually don't have to buy, uh, get a new captain in uh, X Rebirth. You do, but yeah, as I said before, I bought that as well because you know, as I said, I really wanted to play space games. And if somebody else actually has a space game like this or something to recommend, please let me know because I'm really like I I'm discovering a whole new kind of of game type that I've never delved in before, and I am absolutely loving it. Though it is a little bit overwhelming, I am I am enjoying this immensely. Um, Though I will not delve into EVE Online. Like, that's, uh, that's a bit too much. But XX Rebirth, I actually was kind of enjoying it. Even though it got a lot of negative reviews, but... I don't know, I, I like the the, the, the storyline that they're going on, though. Though I've only played for one hour, so, you know, I've barely scratched the surface. So when the um, freighters docked, I need to dock as well again. Now it is docking with autopilot, which actually takes quite a while. You can save the game when you dock at a place, so that's also what we're going to do. And I'm then going to also end the first episode here. Uh, again, this will run parallel to uh, the new Star Wars Conquest series. Uh, so imagine kind of that we're over the same faction, you know, but where in Star Wars Conquest, you know, Kanoa's New Order, there's all the infantry battle and, you know, uh, conquers the planets. This is what's going on in, in cold space during that, that thing. So, you know, in the beginning, you know, we're the independent no faction or joining the huts. No, I'm okay, good. So you are talking negative. <coughs> you cannot undergo docking procedure at the moment. Oh, that's maybe because the freighter docked. You are talking negative. You cannot undergo docking procedure at the moment. Solar Terracorp Webgate Argon Prime. Argon civilian no, no, no. ship. Give me that. Solar power. You are top negative. You cannot undergo docking procedure at the moment. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Hold on. Let me turn real quick. Solar power plant. M. Beta. You are talking negative. You cannot undergo docking procedure at the moment. so weird it's all oh, it's because 
Well, that one undocked. Can you I now? Negative. You cannot undergo docking procedure at the moment. You are t negative. You cannot undergo docking hmm. procedure at the moment. Oh, how about Argon civilian ship? Solar power. You are positive. Oh. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. That was really strange. I was targeting probably the wrong thing. So, what we're now going to do, docked. and I want to be quick because. And Senator, the Argon Federation mm. connection. Prices were still the same. So, I saw another trading vessel coming close. So I want to go for the kill before they do. So, I'm going to choose my freighter, and then we're going to trade. And um, energy cells are I have 9,742 credits, and we're going to. The unification of the energy storage insufficient. Credit. We're going to buy 649 um, energy cells for 15 credits, and we're hopefully going to sell it for. I hope. Well, if prices are really good, I can sell it for 18 to 19. So I have four credits per per unit. Um, energy cells bought. Of winnings. You have gained recognition. So yeah, I can gain recognition. Product. That's all good. So let's actually also save now. So I will pick it up uh, again next time. Again, tips are very, very welcome uh, because I have a lot to learn. Uh, if you, for example, recommend me to buy something, please explain also why, not only that I should buy that, but why, what it will do in terms of missions and stuff. Um, and I hope you guys really like this. Uh, please check it out. I mean, uh, Albion Prelude is on uh, sale for Steam now. Uh, it is an expansion, though, so you need the base game as well. But uh, I really enjoy the game. And if you really want to get into space battles and stuff with Star Wars, then definitely check it out. See you guys next time.